Uh, obviously, you know, we're a young group and we haven't really played much, so it's going to be a process, but we got a lot of good talent and I think it's going to come together well. What's it like for you being the guy who's been through it before and what kind of role you take on helping you? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I'm taking on like a bigger leadership role this year, being the, you know, one of the only guys coming back, but, you know, that's, you know, that's what I want to be and uh, just helping the younger guys out and just through the process, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. How different does it feel? I mean, coming out here for picture day, not seeing like Jordan and, and Dylan Brooks and all those guys right by you. I mean, it's definitely different, but you know that's how college basketball is. You know, the top teams they're gonna lose guys every year, uh, like us. We were so good last year. Those guys went pro, and it's a whole different team this year. But yeah, it's different. How do you guys set expectations without you know all those guys coming back? It's pretty much a brand new team. Um, I mean, it's got to be the same goal uh, for every team: win the championship, win the Pac-12 championship, win every game you can, and that's all we can do. What did you work on this summer? What was the things that you were trying to, to build off of? Um, you know, obviously just getting stronger and faster, getting more athletic. That's what I really focused on. I, mean, I was traveling a lot with Team USA and did Chris Paul camp and all that. So I learned a lot of different stuff this summer um, with USA. And then Chris Paul camp really, just little things uh, I took from that. What was that experience like playing for Team USA? And I think you were playing Egypt, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, playing for Team USA is always a great experience, you know. Uh, you never want to turn that down, so. You know, we didn't finish how we wanted to, but it was definitely a great experience. Was Calipari the, the coach for that team? Yeah, he was. What, what was it like? I mean, he's coaching pretty good mm -hmm. point guards. In I mean, state. yeah, Calipari's a great coach, and, you know, you're going to take some things. Uh, you just look at who he's coached, and you know, it's unbelievable. So, obviously, I'm going to take some stuff from him. You guys matched up against Abu. I mean, you've, I'm sure you've seen him play now, but what's the kind of the scattering report on Abu? Uh, Abu plays really hard. You know, he's competitive. That's all, like, ultra competitive. So, he's going to go after every rebound. Um, if he sees the driving angle, he's going to take it. He's a great player, great teammate too. You see that this year, I mean, skill level wise, you get two transfers that come in, some freshmen, how does it mesh together, and yeah. you see some skills that, that kind of work together. I mean, all, all the freshmen, they kind of have a unique uh, skill set. They're all different in their own way. We got they're really athletic, so that's good, you know. But they're all going to have to be play a big role this year. We're going to be super young, but everybody's going to have to step up. And, Carry the team in one bit of way. You guys play kind of a similar way to last year? Or do you have to uh, you know, last year we were bigger. Yeah. You know, having Jordan and Chris in there. Um, we don't really have any guys like that. Those guys are the best shot blockers in the country. So we're going to definitely play a little differently. We have the same offenses and all that kind of stuff going on. You know, we're going to keep the same agenda. But obviously we're going to have to play a little different, faster. My shoot. Uh, shoot a little more. I don't know we shot a lot last year, but definitely not having those guys is going to have to change a little bit. Have you guys done anything differently just with so many new pieces that just bond or gel together than uh, done last season? I mean, no, it's just the same. You know, me and Keith coming in last year, we just had to gel with those guys. And, you know, every team is going to go through that. You just got to, you know, let's just practice together, hanging with each other off the court. That's just going to happen over time. Troy's name has kind of popped up in a lot of NBA drafts. Yeah. You kind of see him Oh uh, yeah, Troy. You know he's, he's, uh, he's gonna be unbelievable. He's gonna have to step up big for us this year, and you know whatever he decides to do. But you know he's been great uh, so far in practice. And what kind of stuff have you been like, you know, about college ball? Oh, uh, you know, just like coming in, you can't just like you just gotta play your game, really. You know, just coach is gonna let you go. Be smart. Don't be shooting like you know. You need to come from high school, and everybody thinks you know it's the same game, but you just gotta play your game and take smart shots and. But it was kind of along those lines, based on your experience, how long do you think it'll take for these new guys to kind of get acclimated and feel comfortable at this level? Uh, I mean, it shouldn't take them that long. I don't think it took me that long. But, you know, it's, I was playing with an older group too, so I knew I had to get acclimated faster or, you know, I wouldn't be playing as much. Uh, but these guys, you know, they got a great IQ and skill set, so I don't really think it'll take that long at all. Jordan Bell's kind of like blown up on social media and obviously just being a part of the Warriors. Yeah. Have you kind of kept in touch with him as he starts yeah, his yeah. NBA journey? Yeah, all of them. You know, we tried to keep in touch. Um, you know, Jordan was here not too long ago, him, Dylan, and Tyler. So, but yeah, and Jordan, you know, he's he likes the media. You know, he likes the, the shine and all that. So, I'm happy for him. Thanks, Thank you.